afternoon. Hello. Thank, thank you, everyone. What a great turnout. Thank you uh, to the Maori that uh, made it out here. I appreciate it. Gosh, it's a... Uh, I feel uh, very honored to have uh, so much attention on, on our company here, so very humbling. Thank you. Um, it's kind of an interesting uh, event here. So we're cutting a ribbon because we have a new building, and I would hate to think that the mayors would have to go running around town cutting ribbons every time somebody buys a building, right? It's just real estate. So, um, you know, the excitement has to be for something more than that, uh, I, I would think. And I know I'm really excited about the new building. I know with the employees at, here at Cafe Press, there's a lot of excitement. Um, and it can't just be because my commute is now two miles or less, uh, even though that has a lot to do with it, I think. It does, location does matter uh, quite a bit. So then I said, well, it's because, you know, Cafe Press is, uh, move, has moved their headquarters from Silicon Valley. So this is an example of a company, a uh, venture-funded company, e-commerce, high-tech, who has relocated and chosen to make its home here in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's kind of, that's interesting and newsworthy. Except we actually did that back in 2012. So why the ribbon cut in now? And I had to keep thinking, like, why, are we, why do we feel so much more excited now than we did in 2012 moving the headquarters here? And I think it's really the combination of the fact that this is a commitment. And if I look around at the rest of the folks who work for Cafe Press, I think that's the feeling that I had to look inside. Why does this feel different? I think we, we finally committed to really having the headquarters here. Before it didn't feel as committed. We were in the factory, the factory we were committed to having. So we have the location down in Riverport with an excellent workforce and we've had a, uh, with the logistics and UPS, a wonderful experience here in Louisville. But when the offices and the headquarters moved, we just moved into the factory, you know, kind of moved, uh, moved everyone back behind the shelves and said, get to work. And it didn't feel permanent or decided. And I think as we look around the office and everyone have a chance to, to look around it, this is a real investment and commitment in, in our employees and trying to create a, a creative space where it kind of honors the hard work and creativity of everyone on board. And I think it shows and demonstrates a commitment to the community that we're a part of. Um, and so I'm really happy to feel that the community is also committed to us. And hopefully we can be a beacon and our small success here can be an example that Louisville, while I believe it really is the food and beverage capital of the country, uh, you can be successful at anything here. And hopefully we can uh, be a part of telling that story and uh, do it really well. And I hope we can share our success and thank you for sharing it with us. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, Fred, and good afternoon, everybody. We have always enjoyed uh, Cafe Press in our city and had a strong uh, recruitment effort in 2012 uh, with Fred and the team and we're really delighted when you all located here in Louisville and are delighted to see that really the continued evolution and in, in growth uh, transitions that uh, Cafe Press has gone through and what that's a result of in my mind is just a tremendous team that is in a super dynamic space uh, that you guys are some of the leaders in the world on the work that you do in this commitment today of the building that Fred's uh, talking about so eloquently uh, really puts your roots down even further and I'm sure in your all's mind says okay this is another inflection point or another chapter in the book of Cafe Press as it continues to grow and the amount of talent that we're developing and building in our city around logistics and e-commerce we feel like we're one of the well we obviously are one of the best cities in the world for that type of uh, sector that you guys are right in the middle of it and really helping define not just your company but our city as well. We're just continuing to see tremendous growth in logistics and e-commerce. Obviously having Worldport in our own backyard is a critical, critical element of that. Uh, what we really want to see in addition to kind of that logistics growth is the growth of the brains that you guys represent as well, the full administrative suite, the leadership suite that comes along with these type of uh, companies in our city. So we're really appreciative to Cafe Press uh, being a model for us here in the city. And then I, as I look out here, I see a lot of great citizens as well. So thank you all for the many of the other activities that you do to help our city. I want to say that Fred and Prem, Prem is here wearing some controversial t-shirt, I'm sure, of some kind, uh, have really jumped right in as great uh, citizens for us whether it's in the food and beverage scene or the innovation scene as well. So what we love to see is companies that are growing 
but then uh, the employees and leadership of the company is really saying it's more than about our company, it's about our city as well. So I really appreciate that kind of dedication that you guys have made to our city. So with that, I want to say thank you and congratulations. One of the mayoral duties is to give proclamations. So Fred, this is the city of Louisville honoring Cafe Press and all of its employees on opening its beautiful new corporate headquarters. Louisville's had the pleasure of watching Cafe Press develop and innovate as it seeks ways to help customers express themselves. As our city establishes itself as a destination for e-commerce companies, we're proud that Cafe Press was an early believer. So a thankful city celebrates this new headquarters and wishes Cafe Press years and years of success in Louisville. Thank you, Fred. Mayor Fisher just said, welcome, glad to have you here, glad to have the mayor out here in our fine city. I haven't heard you say too much about the history of this business. It started in 1999, I understand. It started in California in a garage or a basement of a house. And at that time, it went from there to 2006. I think you had like 200 million products. 2011, it, it went up to around 325 million products. Then it went uh, on the NASDAQ in 2012, and it continued to grow. Now it's up to one billion products on their line, on their website. I've had an occasion to go through this building, and you've seen nothing but the highest technology, the highest graded uh, employees. I've enjoyed talking with all these guys, but I think the thing that, that I kept hearing, Fred was saying, he started in 99, he was very successful, but there was still something missing. There's something that he didn't have right. He, he thought he got it right. He went to uh, a world port. He started his manufacturing, but he still, it was, it was just something that, he, that this business needed. So he decided, I want to be in the heart of America. So that's when he came to Millertown, Kentucky to be in the heart of America. I <laughs> got it right. <laughs> got it right. And, and because of that, I have a proclamation from the city of Middletown, the heart of, Mar of America, from the office of the mayor. It's a proclamation to all of you to present. Shall I come to know July 14th is hereby proclaimed in Middletown, Kentucky, to be Cafe Press Day. Welcome to the heart of America. Middletown Chamber of Commerce, we want to welcome you to the heart of America also. <laughs> and we have a uh, coffee mug and pen from our chamber for you, Excellent. and another proclamation for us congratulating you on your new location, Cafe Press. Well, thank you. We appreciate you being here. T-shirt, <laughs> so it's a Cafe Press T-shirt. Very nice, very nice. Oh, which which who's that go to, though? <laughs> Mr. Mayor. That's something to wear. <laughs> so, uh, there you go, sir. Thank you so much. Matching, matching shirts. All right. Next slide. <laughs> 